An aircraft indicator, or ASI, is a device for measuring the forward speed of the aircraft. The ASI uses the aircraft pitot-static system to compare pitot and static pressure and thus determine forward speed. The instrument airspeed indicator, or ASI, was invented by Henry Pitot. It is converted and displayed on the airspeed indicator for the pilot because the pressure difference reflects airspeed. He was born on May 3, 1695 in Aramon, France, and with the age of 76, he died on December 27, 1771. Henry Pitot does not feel like in education, and went off for three years to study mathematics and science. Pitot went to Paris and became an assistant of scientist René Riamour. While he was in Paris, he learned a lot. Then he became interested in hydraulics. Pitot also wrote a book that is all about maneuvering of ships. What is an ASI? An ASI or airspeed indicator is a device for measuring the forward speed of the aircraft. The ASI uses the aircraft pitot static system to compare pitot and static pressure and thus determine forward speed. It is an instrument that measures the airspeed of an aircraft relative to the surrounding air, using the differential between the pressure of still air and that moving air compressed by the craft's mo forward motion. As speed increases, the difference between these pressures increases as well. Since the airspeed indicator is calibrated at standard temperature and pressure, its readings are inaccurate at different temperatures and altitudes. An indicated airspeed is still used to estimate an aircraft's tendency to stall. Instruments that electronically correct for altitude differences and temperature give the true airspeed which is used to calculate the aircraft's position. Now, these are the parts of airspeed indicator. Ram air. It is the air which is forced to enter a moving aperture, such as the air intake of an aircraft. Static airline. It is used to measure static pressure also known as ambient pressure, that is always present whether an aircraft is moving or at rest. It is simply the barometric pressure in the local area. Pito connection. It is the connection where pito tube and the instrument are combined. Diaphragm. A thin metal inside the instrument case flexes as the pressure changes in dynamic pressure that causes readings on the ASI. Long lever, sector, and hand step pinion are the gears that are used to move the speed dial. The airspeed indicator uses the aircraft speed at static system to measure and compare the dynamic air pressure between moving air into the pitot tube and static pressure. A thin metal diaphragm inside the instrument case flexes as the pressure changes in dynamic pressure that causes readings on the ASI. The airspeed indicator is color-coded to help the pilot immediately recognize the important airspeeds and the ranges of airspeed. Firstly, we have the white arc. The white arc is the flap operating seed. The bottom of this white arc is VS0. VS0 is the power of stalling speed with the gear and flaps down. Going up and along the airspeed indicator, we come to the green arc. VS1 is where the white arc meets the green arc, or is commonly referred to as the bottom of the green arc or the power of stalling speed with the gear and flaps up. The green arc is the normal operating range. The very top of the green arc is the maximum structural cruising speed, commonly known as VNO. The yellow arc is the caution range. The aircraft should not be flown in this speed range in rough air. The yellow arc extends from the top of the green arc to the red line. Red radial line. The red radial line is the never exceed speed or VNE. The airspeed indicator displays the pressure differential as the indicated speed of the aircraft in miles per hour or nautical miles per hour. 
not adjusted for temperature and general wear of indicator components. The system relies on airtight tubing, fitting, and seals between the pitot tube and static ports to the instrument to work correctly. Any part of the system could have a leak or blockage that could affect accurate readings. The airspeed indicator is affected only by changes in temperature and not in pressure. As you probably know, colder air is much denser, and as you can see from the animation, as you fly into colder air, the denser air exerts a bigger force on the diaphragm and therefore expands it more. This obviously affects the reading on the dial. The colder the air is the higher the indicated airspeed, while your real speed, your true airspeed is actually lower, vice versa. The warmer the air is the lower indicated airspeed reads while your true airspeed is actually higher. On the other hand, pressure changes do not affect the airspeed indicator at all, as long as everything is working properly. The reason is that the chamber of the airspeed indicator is connected to the static port and this means that as we fly along, in this case, low pressure to high pressure, the pressure differential between the diaphragm the airspeed chamber stays the same, and the diaphragm expansion tracks only are a result of changes in impact there. So if the speed doesn't change, the airspeed indication remains unaltered. Instrument Errors Pitot static failures typically come in three varieties. First, Icing over the pitot or static parts. Second, trapped water in the lines or usually after maintenance fails to cover the ports during a wash. Third, compromise of system integrity. Leaks due to holes or loose fittings. Kinks in the lines, obstructions or blockages, taped or covered ports. Blockages in the system can cause a variety of errors. To prevent these errors, you must complete a thorough pre-flight. Blockages can occur from FOD, striking an object, damaging instruments, insects, trapped moisture, loss of system integrity, icing, etc. Pitot tube blockage. Airspeed indicator indicates zero or gradually decreasing. Pitot tube and drain hole blockage. Airspeed indicator will freeze and read like an altimeter as the total pressure now remains constant and the static pressure changes with the climbs and descents. Static blockage. If the static system becomes blocked but the pitot tube remains clear, the ASI continues to operate. However, it is inaccurate. Pitot tube. A pitot tube, also known as pitot probe, is a flow measurement device used to measure fluid flow velocity. Let's look at what happens when things start to clog. Now, let's start from the easiest and most common problem you might encounter. Say that you're flying and it starts to snow again. As you can see from the animation, as the snow starts to accumulate on the pitot tube, the opening starts to freeze over. As this is happening, the impact air Inflating the diaphragm starts to bleed out from the drain hole and the indicated airspeed starts to drop until the impact there interest is fully clogged, at which point the indicated airspeed will drop to zero. Keep in mind that the Android wafer still holds the outside pressure inside of it, but this is equal to the pressure inside the chamber of the instrument. Therefore, the reading of the airspeed indicator does drop to zero. In conclusion, the airspeed indicator, or ASI, is an instrument invented by Henry Pito. It compares the temperature of the pitot and static pressure to determine the forward speed of an aircraft, and, therefore, is always calibrated based on temperature. The face of the instrument is color-coded, which allows pilots to quickly read the aircraft's airspeed. The instrument is dependent on the pitot tube and static port 
which are susceptible to blockages like snow buildup or covers used by maintenance.